The Springers have been uh, basically one of the first hunting dogs uh, back in England. They were bred to work close enough that uh, when you went out in the field for game, the dog would quarter back and forth, uh, springing the game up into the air. Close enough, though, that uh, the owner could shoot the, the game that went up, uh, as opposed to other sporting dogs that you had to ride horses behind or uh, you know, did water retrieves. The Springer was one of the best working dogs as far as uh, close field work went. We now have Springers that are bred for show, Springers that are bred for obedience, Springers that are bred for field. Uh, the nice thing is it's all the same breed and they can do many, many different things and do it quite well. Springers are high energy dogs. Uh, they're supposed to be. They're, they're bred to hunt for eight hours in a day. So if you want a dog who's really calm and laid back, the Springer may not be the best choice for you. They are. They do need to get out and have their walks and have a run and play for a while. They will adapt well though. They're smart enough that uh, if you do have a quiet household where you need to crate the dog while you go to work, they can adapt to that. A Springer puppy would not be a good idea for an apartment dog. Um, unless it was a very active person. If, it went in, if, you, if you were a jogger and you lived in an apartment, Springer would be just fine. But when you have a dog, he'll adapt to whatever you do. If, you're, if you get used to running them every day and all of a sudden you quit and the dog's been made into an athlete, he has this abundance of energy. It's going to come out somehow, either in barking or chewing or digging, but the energy has to come out. And a Springer's a high energy dog, so you, you need some room. I feel very comfortable when a puppy of mine goes into uh, a home with, with children. The thing with the Springer is they're very intelligent, usually smarter than the owner, and they will take over your house. So what you have to do is take them to an obedience school, let them know that you're the alpha leader in the house and he's below you, and the dog will do anything for you. If you don't give him direction, he'll, he'll make up things on his own. Because the hair does grow longer, they don't shed a lot. They do lose hair. I'm not going to lie and say they don't shed. Some hair will fall out. But if you keep up with that daily maintenance, you're never going to find it on your couch. It'll be in your brush. All in all, for a normal pet dog, not too difficult to take care of. They're wonderful breeds. I've had them for 19 years now, and I just love them.